my friend everything existing exists through him now he is addressing god as him okay you could tomorrow address god as she or somebody else could address god as it i address him as he she him it and all the the words that can exist okay because for me there is no conception my friend everything existing exists for him your own existence is a mere pretense now this is a very big blow if you're really receptive your own existence is a mere pretense so stop pretending <laughs> he's addressing the ego he's saying when you say i your own identity is a, an identity which has been created which is like a shadow it has been given to you by society it is false there's only one identity there's only one i only god only existence can say i and even he doesn't say i and even if he says or she says it it is correct it is right it is just we don't have many eyes in existence we have only one eye and your existence is only a reflection of him of what he is your existence is his existence you are he he is you so what is this question of i so hakim sanai is saying when you say i now that has to be understood i do not mean that you should stop use the word i you should you can and you'll have to have no choice to use it in a utilitarian way for example say you know i'm hungry i need to do this i need to this is very uh, a utilitarian way of saying i but deep inside you understand you know that your own existence the very basis of your existence is him so that's why he said my friend everything existing exists for him your own existence is a mere pretense just to show that you exist in fact it is he who exists only he exists and when you come to that realization that only he exists then you dissolve your i your ego the notion of being separate the notion of being an individual the notion of being cut off separate and when this happens you become enlightened this is what is enlightened enlightenment is about you realize you understand that uh, your eye is his eye his eye is your eye the cosmic eye there is no eye separate from his eye you are not separate from him you are one that is the meaning of yoga no more nonsense lose yourself <laughs> and the hell of your heart becomes heaven no more nonsense now that has to be understood all the conflicts all the confusion all the crime all the ugliness all the nonsenses that you see around and by by now you have meditated for some time i'm sure you understand you are horrified you are appalled by uh, the way society you know exists the way it exists what ha- what is happening in society so no more nonsense lose yourself stop this nonsense you no know, this is like a, a zen master uh, speaking you go to a, a zen master and you want to meditate you ask for a technique he will say stop this nonsense lose yourself in this i can hear is zen master speaking you stop this nonsense you just you are already buddha you are already a knight and be you know so stop this nonsense lose yourself meaning dissolve the ego now that is easily said in previous time you know in previous time in ancient time if a master would have said that lose yourself just be stop you are already that in many cases and in most cases the disciple will become enlightened and there he would have written and he became enlightened <laughs> you know 
Stop this nonsense. Lose yourself. Let the drop realize that its existence is the ocean. That it exists in the ocean. It comes from the ocean and it will return therein. So lose yourself in the existence. It is in losing that you get. Those who lose themselves will gain themselves. Those who are lost will be first and those who are first will be lost. Do you recall something? Jesus' words. You know? So he says, lose yourself and anything can be accomplished and the hell of your heart becomes heaven. So all the hell that you have experienced till date from birth till now and till you exist all the hell that everyone all the billions of people who have existed in the past who exist now and who, who con will continue to exist all the hell and even heaven that they have experienced uh, uh, hell that they have experienced was due to this fallacy called ego this false I this arrogance this pretense I, me, no, I exist, I did this, I am the doer, I created this and that and this and that, you know, this is the ego, this is the male mind, so lose yourself and anything can be accomplished. If you surrender the ego, if you realize that it is the one supreme I, the only I, God's I that exists. Then Hakim Sanai says, anything can be accomplished. Now what is the meaning that anything can be accomplished? Once you have lose yourself, you become the greatest emperor because you become one with him. Because you realize that you are him. You allow him to exist through you. But because of this pretense, because of this I existence, because of this notion that I am an entity cut off from the whole, because of this ignorance of your unity with him, that you experience hell. Now go deep, make it a deep meditation that all the sufferings that you've gone through till now was due to your ego. You feel hurt. Somebody uh, criticize you. It is because of your ego. All the pains, all the sorrow, all the joy. You lose somebody. A close one has passed away. Who is suffering? It is because of the ego. Because you don't understand. You think of death as separate from life. You think of death as separate from existence. You think of death as outside a divinity. So you suffer. You think of the person who has passed away as your private property. You know, this is the ego. This is the pretense of the ego. Lose yourself and anything can be accomplished. Once you minus yourself, once you, once you realize that your eye is his eye, then you become him, then anything can be accomplished. This is what says Hakim Sanai. Your selfishness is an untrained cult. <laughs> you know what is a cult? A donkey. A cult. Your selfishness is an untrained cult. C-O-L-T. Your ego, the eye or the mind is like an untrained cult. Like a loose monkey who has been beaten by a wasp. Now monkeys are never, never stays in place. Plus, on top of that, they have been stung by a wasp. Now just remember the state of that monkey. So lose yourself and anything can be accomplished. Your selfishness is an end to end goal. And your selfishness, your mind never stays in place. It is always moving from here to there and it is this moving it is this movement of the ego of your mind that makes your body move makes you 
move, travel from birth to birth. This is what makes you take innumerable incarnation and in all the incarnations you do the same thing just to cut people. Go to the city or anywhere in a village just sit down and look at people. They are always moving. They have no time to relax. People always engage. Innumerable ambitions, innumerable desires, so many more infinite wants. You never stay in place. Even in your dream, you are thinking. The mind is never in place. It is never stable. People are never happy. People are never satisfied. The desires, no, no limit. So even during old age, when the body is weak, when the flesh is weak, the mind is still desiring. The desire is still there. But very unfortunately, there is no energy. There is no vitality. So you have to just stay in place and dream. So lose yourself and anything can be accomplished. Your selfishness is an entrained code.